In this video, I would like to share my experience on uh, uh, searching, design, and uh, implementation of the uh, adjustment uh, screw for the uh, mini meal trimming. Yes, as, uh, lots of us have already tired of uh, using a sledgehammer on the column while trimming it, uh, and uh, I tried to search for any. Uh, reasonable idea uh, for the adjustment screw, but uh, telling the truth, I could not find anything. So I decided to look at the uh, minimal itself and see if it uh, can be used itself for uh, column adjustment. Maybe using its own feature, features, uh, joints, uh, threaded holes and screws and see uh, how it can be done. If you look, uh, if we look from the back, it's uh, uh, sort of clear that we have to apply some uh, force uh, to the point which is uh, at some distance from this bolt axis. Not, uh, not big lever here from any side and uh, the most important we have to apply force uh, based on the uh, frame of the mill. I don't want to build any extensions to uh, apply force between that extension and the column. It looks like the most, uh, the farthest uh, point we could apply the force from the uh, bold axis is this side of the round plate. Uh, this plate it's uh, it's set between the bracket which is mounted on the frame and uh, uh, actually this round plate it connects the column to the bracket through the uh, dovetail connection and it's uh, static not a movable dovetail connection so, um, it looks like uh, it would make sense to drill a couple of holes here on the uh, round side and uh, mount some part with matching curved surface and uh, that part should have a bolt or screw which would uh, work against this part of frame. So if you screw it down, it applies force to this round plate and because of the uh, lever, move the column in opposite direction. Yeah, but uh, I am lazy and for this uh, work I have to disassemble uh, the mill. I have to drill a couple of holes, uh, thread them, and after that make part. So, you know, this, this area with this flat surface and with these three existing uh, screws, which are set screws, which are actually the uh, deep set screws. I think that's a good idea. So my thought was to remove one of the screws. If I make some small part which I could mount using this threaded hole and that part would have a screw which would work against the frame. Why not to try this? So, removing this screw, removing this set screw, uh, I am getting pretty good hole, which is threaded uh, with uh, M6 metric thread 
and I have an M6 uh, bolt and after all the measurements of this flat area and these uh, set screws which are above the surface I fabricated this uh, pretty small and pretty simple uh, simple part so at the back it has some cutout for the upper set screw some groove for the lower set screw and the hole for M6 bolt and uh, yeah the most important it has some foot and uh, threaded hole for the let's say uh, micro screw so the threaded the hole is threaded with the same uh, M6 thread so uh, as a micro screw I can use the original uh, Gibbs set screw. Let's try and uh, I have to tell you guys in advance I already tried this and this stuff works excellent with the only limitation that you uh, can move the column only from this side so from the right to the left and you can move it only in one direction you can just push it from the from the frame you cannot move it towards this direction but i don't want to make uh, any changes in the frame itself and the mill itself for now if i can do something without uh, modifying and drilling and cutting uh, the mill itself that's perfect so here are our gib screw yeah and as you can see it's already touching the frame let me show you if we can see that the column is actually moving you can see that according to this uh, angle the column is uh, inclined to the right and now I'm going to move the you see to move the micro screw you see it is moving and you can move it easily yeah now it looks like it's inclined to the left and I have to support it with my hand yeah in case yeah with this a single uh, micro screw in order to return it back in case I uh, skipped the vertical position I just unscrew the setting screw and move it back to the right and start my work again and uh, what's uh, pretty important uh, with the released uh, nut uh, this screw works, works as a support so I don't have to hold it so you see it has support it stands so in case I put the second uh, uh, adjustment uh, micro screw on the left side I have full support from the both uh, sides anyway this is pretty simple uh, idea 
uh, it's pretty simple to implement and uh, it's pretty simple to use and uh, afterwards after uh, the trimming column trimming procedure is done and the column is uh, reliably vertical uh, this uh, part can be removed and the uh, gips gip set screw can be can be set to the to its own pre original place okay so if you have any questions if you need dimensions on this part and uh, just let me know in comments i will uh, i will reply